Hello everybody and welcome once again to Forever Stranded. So, this time I'm going to go and do some mining on the moon. But first of all, I want to have a quick look at a few things. One thing I've got on here is regen from the, the nanobot. I've also got on as well um, saturation. So that's that one, the saturation modifier. And now what I was trying, I was trying to build this, was starting at tier one, and I, I didn't think the saturation was working, so I then built a tier two, and it still didn't appear to be working. But now I've built a tier three, and it is working. So that's one bit of information you might need when you're trying to get saturation to work. You need at least tier three. I'm also curious, because I also put in two regens, whether actually that would give me regen two. But maybe I need more... Or maybe it needs to be a tier 4 to get regen 2 going, because I think that's a thing. I'm not 100% sure. So now, let's go and look down here in a second. I've also noticed... In here I've got a dimensional transceiver. And I'm feeding this from a, another star generator here. But when I actually look at this here, you'll see that I'm getting items in, it's fine and the power is coming in and going out. But you'll see that the maximum I.O. is 40,000 or 41,000 RF per tick. And the nether star generator, this one, can generate 99,000. So I'm not using all of its power by any means. I could probably put a second dimensional transceiver on here to, get it to use most of it and still wouldn't be using it at all. So that was just... I thought these were unlimited, but they're not. They're, they're still limited. And what I'm doing is I'm taking the items out of all oh, the other bot, the resource miner I built, which was a tier 4 one. That big white thing over here. And actually that's what's taking most of the power. And this is, the idea of this is to get as much as possible. This was actually configured for diamonds. For the diamond collecting quest, which is going to be uh, interesting. What have I got in here? I'm going to check this for a while. I probably need to check it regularly. In case it gets full, full. So, is there anything new in here? Not really. I don't see anything particularly new in there. But I was hoping to see some sunflowers. I have got some sunflowers from this in the past. And if we have a look over here, I've done a little bit of sunflower automation. So here I've planted a sunflower, and here I've got a mechanical user, and I've got it set to use item on block from by right clicking on the right uh, on a random slot. So let's get some bone meal out of here. So we'll get a stack of bone meal out, and then we'll put the bone meal into here, like that, and you'll see what it's doing. It's flicking these out. So I'm getting sunflowers all the time. Now if I have a look at the use of sunflowers, you can craft them into two dandelions, but, or make some sunflower seeds which you can eat. You can also make them into dirt. If you put them into a millstone, you get six dandelion yellows. If you put a sagma, you get, I don't know, two plus a chance of more, up to five. Here we can make some liquid sunshine. And here, if we put them into a pulverizer, we get eight dandelions, yellows, which is quite good, actually. I think that's the best recipe there is. So you need a lot of dandelion yellows. I'm going to get out of the way because this thing is it's just... A tr I'm not sure it's not picking them up, to be honest with you. Maybe I'm too near. Yes, that looks like it's going now into the into the chest with a little bit of lag. Yes, let's put those three in there. So, I think one more thing I wanted to show you was this one. If you put sand into a compacting drawer, you get, here you also get sandstone. So by putting sand in here and you're getting sandstone, but all of this is being taken out at the moment for the sandstone quest. If I have a quick look at the quest, because I want to ask a question, if anybody knows what the best one is for this. I've got a choice reward. And to be dead honest with you, I don't know what to choose. I'm not. I'm sort of tied between 900 bean pods 
and 50 loot chests. Water sources I've got already. Creative spikes. Well, I'm not sure I ever need those again. Or maybe six unbalanced soul shards. I just don't know what to choose. So if anybody's got any hints, please do let me know because I'm stuck on that one. So what we're doing at the moment is the sand quest here. The sandy quest where we've got to get one million sand. And at the moment I've done none, but that's not true because I've got... Let's have a quick look downstairs here. I'm exporting everything into here. So at the moment we've got 300,000 sand. And hopefully that'll do its stuff later on. Now, let's go over to the rocket because it's time to go to the moon and start doing some mining. And yes, here I have an iron golem who's helping me out, or his children are, with the iron quest. And that was something that Exhedra did in him one of his episodes, which is great. So let's shift right click this thing. Is it not built? It must be. I'm too far away. And let's put into this the unprogrammed ID chip. And then shift right click that and then select destination. And I want to go to that moon. Let's go minus. Can I go minus? Can I not see the moon? Earth? Here we go. And then select that as a destination. We'll check it's fuel. Well, it's already fueled up. I know that already. And I've also got on me everything I need, I think, to get back again. Let's just simply double check that. It should be in here. I should have a fueling station in. Maybe not there. Maybe it's in here. One contact button. Uh, one fueling station here. And I need some fuel, that's easy enough. All I need to do for that is to make a quick tank, which we'll do first. Oh, I've also got some nether stars, which I don't need with me. So let's make a quick uh, ender tank. And we'll put that down, and we just need some yellow for that one as well. color it and the only other thing I then need to do is find some power which I might have on which I've got plenty of anyway because in my bag here I've got a dimensional transceiver which I can use to power up the, the rocket if you refuel it in fact you can do it with buckets anyway so, so let's get into this I'll have to go a bit nearer right destination Luna I'll also check quick check got everything prepared Okay, let's go. Put the space bar. So now we're off to the moon. Actually, I can't hear the rocket today. So I guess this is the moon. Altitude is going up, velocity is maximum. You'll notice I haven't bothered building a cage around my rocket. And here we go. Just less space to descend. slowly we're coming down I haven't put flight on that uh, uh, nanobot okay here we are let's go off and let's quickly put a marker down here what color will make that let's make it light, light green save that and we now need to fuel it up. So let's just take the fueling station out of here. And we need uh, my tank. So let's put that down here like that. Let's put the fueling station beside it. Let's put that in, put the dandelion yellow into the middle one of these. Like 
like that. That fills up with rocket fuel, set that to push, and that should then fill up this. So all we need now is a little bit of power. Uh, there's another way to pr provide power for this, I think. Let's have a look if I've got one with me. I want a generator. And have I got one in here? No, but I've got one in the index, I'm sure of that. Oh, I can use a sterling generator just as fine. And we could put this beside here like this. That'll then fuel this up. So now all we need the linker. And I think the linker's in my backpack here, which I didn't actually check. But if, I, if the worst case is worst, I have to make a new one. I don't see it in there. I think I've forgotten to make one. Let's just quickly make a linker. Because they're dead cheap. So all we need to do now is shift that onto there and then ooh, big jump. Right click successfully linked. So let's have a look at this rocket now. So it's fueling up. So we don't need to do anything else now. So if we come away from there a bit and set up the, the, the mine I want to set up or the quarry. Let's go and do that over here. It'll, it'll convert all this to cobblestone. So, in my back here, I've got everything I need for doing this. So I've got a diamond generator, which I don't need. I could have used that for charging up the thing, of course. And I want some diamond upgrade and a wither upgrade. We need all of these, actually. So let's put those down like this. So I'll put the, the diamond miner here. We'll put in the... 12 range and multiply that by 6 so we're doing 150 we need some tools for that we also need to do some cobble gen that's the one that produces the lava to produce the um, cobblestone the filler one which basically fills it up afterwards and now we need the tools which are also in the back here we also want the dimensional transceiver and the tools are where you know I don't see my tools. Oh, I need that as well. Let's put that into here as fuel. So now we need to put the, this on the top of it. And then we shift right click that to connect this up. So we need the power coming from the quantum gen star generator. So we receive power onto that one. And we want to send the items back to storage send okay so that's now prepared that's now fully charged up if it wasn't before so all we need now is some tools so it needs a shovel and a pickaxe I've got a pickaxe here and a shovel if I've forgotten my shovel I'll have to go back and get another one but I don't see it there I wonder if it's in the system. I don't think it would be in here, actually. Nope, I don't have it in there. Um, where else can I look? Well, I can get it started with some of these shovels anyway. So what do we got a diamond shovel here? An efficiency one, I'm breaking. I don't know how much it needs for shovels anyway, but I have actually made one and I've obviously left it behind which is brilliant. So let's put that in there like that. And then it starts to mine. So let's have a look what it's doing. So it's doing a little bit of damage on this, but that's not too much. So it's got 12,000 blocks it's going to mine. 
and it's replacing those with cobblestone. So let's have a look at this thing here. In fact, if I disable the sending of items, we should be able to see that one. Remove that and come back into filter we don't need to see and to the configuration part we should see items coming into here ah yes i know what i'm doing wrong they will actually should be ending up in here but i don't see them coming into here because let me just double click this off because that won't be sending because the top of this is actually not an output yet so let's do it like this Let's take some item duct here and my PA wrench and shift right click the wrench here. So it's in mode output. So if I set, I don't think I can set the top to being output mode. I'll have to remove the um, here, the dimensional transceiver first. So let's just do that quickly. I'll use this pickaxe. Oops, I just did a shift right click on that. That was not brilliant, but it's not a problem because I just put it back down again. And I want to right click the top of it this time. So now the top set to output. So the dimensional tree receiver should just simply work on top of it like that. Shift right click it. And let's have a look now. So it's mine 4950 blocks. And it's sending moon turf. Great. So now. All we need to do is reconfigure that again and send that to storage. Fortunately, let's go back into here. So that's already gone out. So in our storage, we should see some stuff coming in. So I should quickly make another a marker here and put that down as my mine and save that. It's going to mark up, it's going to do a very large area 150 blocks which is quite a decent size so we'll see what we get back after a while and maybe just slow and the rocket should now be filled up If I right click this now, it's, as you can see, it is actually full. Let's turn off that JEI. Okay, so now we can simply take these items away. Let's just break that one. That one, that one. Let's get into the rocket. So now we have to select destination again, I guess, because it says destination Luna. Um, select destination Earth select right click destination Earth and let's press space what I could have done of course is set up a super teleportation frame to the actual um, mine but it's not very far away and I think you always come back to the same place and actually I haven't even up with my oxygen tanks in here I haven't done any oxygen it seems to last quite a long time so in a few seconds we shall be back home and I'm gonna to have to come back again I'll do that in my own time and replace that uh, press space and replace that for um, that shovel for a proper shovel, um, breaking shovel. I was actually sure I got them in here. And as we come down, you can see we land back on the landing pad. What I haven't seen though is my other satellite rocket it hasn't returned yet. I'm not actually sure what the criteria for those returning are. And of course, I'll prepare the rocket for the next trip. So, I've done a few boobs in this particular episode. What are they called? Derbs? Derbs, huh? I'll have to get on that one. I think successfully. 
Nothing to link, yes, because I have to use something else. Let's use this tank. Fueled up already. And does it, what does the chip say on this as well? So it actually says planet name is Earth. But I think you just have to select it and it should go back to the other one. If not, we've got the markers from where it was last time. Of course, I've got to... Now I'm going to have slow flight. So if I go up here and go along... Actually, it does seem a bit normal. If I do get slow flight, all I'm going to do is come along and swap my angel rings out for a different one. I've got some angel rings in wings in here but I've got a, sep a separate set of those I've looked to and I think the black wings ones are here I got that from a quest a loot bag it's a loot bag and let's see where they are at the moment right, I've put them away safely somewhere as usual maybe I put them into the indexer no nope. maybe they're in the system Nope. Oh, anyway, I didn't matter. I shall have to go and find those another time. So, until then, I'm going to say bye for now. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. And I'll see you next time.